Hamza Yousaf is a man who is quite incapable of leading a party or leading a country. He inherited an absolute poison chalice when he became leader and was surrounded by policies that were just plain awful. And so he's done the right thing, perhaps, by abandoning just about everything that was already on the books and ready to go. Unfortunately, this has proved to be rather expensive. Simply abandoning these projects has wasted nearly half a million pounds. It's no use, Hamza. You're going to have to give it up. You are so bad that even when you stop wasting money, you waste more money by not wasting it. It's, it's, like it's kind of round in circles, isn't it? But that's where you are because you just haven't got a clue what you're doing. And it isn't just you, of course. It's the whole of the SNP and the Greens. It's the whole of the Scottish government is just filled with inept, stupid people who have no idea what they're doing. And so consequently, when everything crashes and burns around them, the money is wasted and you're all left looking like complete buffoons. Let's just stop the rot. Stop proposing anything. Stop making policies. Stop wasting money and just stand there and carry on looking like buffoons. But do it for free. Let's have a look at this story and see how much money he's wasting when he's trying to not waste any more money. I mean, it is just pathetic, isn't it? They, they are just beyond useless. Hamza Yousaf's axing of Sturgeon policies like DRS and Boozad ban cost taxpayers £450,000. That was the cost of abandoning policies. I mean, DRS itself is going to end up costing maybe 150, 200, maybe more million pounds in total. But just the cost of abandoning them, the, the paperwork, uh, the admin and all that, has cost nearly half a million pounds. It should come out of his pocket, really, shouldn't it? The huge sum of cash was frittered away by the SNP, by the, uh, by the First Minister, when he abandoned Sturgeon era ideas like the bottle recycling scheme and the alcohol advert bans. Because apparently when you're one of your major exports is alcohol, it's a really good idea to ban the advertising of it. Because after all, you don't want to have a successful industry, do you? You idiot. Just under £450,000 of taxpayers' cash has been wasted on projects that were binned or put on pause by the SNP under Hamza Yousaf. Taking the reins from Nicola Sturgeon, the First Minister dropped several controversial policies like the ban on junk food promotions and a crackdown on alcohol advertising, as well as the unworkable deposit return scheme. That's unfair. It was entirely workable. Just without the glass, they didn't want it to work. But hey, that's going to be a lot more expensive than they think. And it still probably won't work properly now. But then you gave the project to an absolute moron in the form of Geoffrey. And Geoffrey doesn't know how to, how to operate a shoe. Uh, it's now been revealed that the total cost of policy development, according to the Scottish Government, has totaled £445,996,000. Now, this is just the development of the policy. This is just paperwork. This isn't the implementation of the policy. This isn't the people going out there and doing things. This is just the paperwork and the admin. Half a million pounds. Are you joking me? It's no wonder there's a billion pound black hole in the SNP budget. Well, two billion now, effectively. When they're wasting money like that because they don't know what they're doing, it just goes to show that they are not fit and proper people to be the government of Scotland, are they? Uh, the policies were all brought in by Mr Yousaf's predecessor, but they were mostly green policies. Uh, but they were either deemed too flawed or likely to spark huge amounts of backlash from industry or the people. Um, and yet it doesn't stop them going all the way to the Supreme Court, which is coming soon. Possibly this week, possibly next week will be the, uh, the decision on that. Um, I think they were desperately waiting uh, to make sure that uh, they don't have to take in the Andrew Miller uh, example. So they want that overturned or weakened or something so they can say Ugh, and come down on the side of the trannies. Uh, a Freedom of Information response provided to the Scottish Daily Mail states that £143,143 was blown on DRS. Just the ad... Don't remember, this is just the cost to the government. It's not the actual implementation cost, just the admin cost uh, on working out the policy. Not the policy, just the admin on working out the policy. It's a ridiculous amount of money, isn't it? 
Uh, and that was pulled after months of warnings. Well, warnings from day one. Everyone knew immediately the moment they tried to do it. They everyone kept saying, and certainly I did, that it was doomed to fail. Doomed, I tell you. Uh, a total of 54,564 was spent on the alcohol advert ban plan that was expected to make enemies of the whiskey sector and everyone else. Tenants, for example. They wouldn't have been pleased. Um... It is sought to place a ban on brands advertising on not only billboards, but shop fronts, merchandise and events. This posed a serious challenge to small batch distillers who partake in booze fairs and distilleries who rely on the sale of merch and tourism. Ministers also paused plans for a ban on unhealthy food and drink promotions after a 117,665 outlay on the proposal. And I have to keep saying it, this isn't the cost of the implementation of these bans. This is simply the cost it took them to work out what the policy would be. These people, these people are just morons. If you did, if you had a government that wasn't filled with absolute buffoons and dicks, for the want of a better word, then it wouldn't cost half of this because the people would sit there themselves, have a think and go, yeah, that's unworkable, that's unworkable. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Instead of keep having to go back, talk, Bring in this, bring in that. Let's change that. Oh, that's not going to work. Let's go speak to this person. They're too stupid to make these decisions because they're literally too stupid to function as human beings. I literally, literally cannot think down to their level. Scottish Tory deputy leader Megan Gallagher said, Hamza Yousaf clearly decided to ditch these policies announced under Nicola Sturgeon in a desperate bid to save his own credibility. Breaking news. Far too late for that. His credibility is shot. Old Kendall is not a leader. Old Kendall has blown every chance he's ever shown of being a leader. And it's far too late for him to start now. Everybody knows that he's totally inept and that nobody pays the blindest bit of attention to him. He can sit there and mouth it, but he's not hes, he's not in charge. He's just the guy keeping the seat warm until the real new boss comes along. Although she won't be along for, for quite a while, I suspect. Uh, anyway... This was uh, this. Megan Gallagher continues. This wasn't before close to four and a half million pounds. Uh, four, sorry, four hundred four hundred fifty thousand pounds of taxpayers' money was frittered away. The fact that they ever saw the light of day in the first place showed how out of touch the SNP has become with the communities and businesses across the country. The Scottish government has been contacted for comment, and comment came there none. They're embarrassed. They know. They know that oh, they've got this dick him in charge, a man who doesn't know what he's doing. If he was told what to do, doesn't know how to implement it. If he was shown how to implement it, would still get it wrong, like he's got everything else wrong. And at the end of it, would sit there and blame Westminster, even though he is the incompetent buffoon in charge. There's people in the SNP, a lot of people in the SNP, and I don't mean at the party level, you know, the members on the street. I mean in Holyrood, the politicians, who are now regretting that it came to him being made leader they see now that that's the one thing he is totally incapable of being because he just isn't is he thick as champ coming up imagine being Hamza Yousaf imagine waking up every morning getting out of bed having a shower looking in the mirror and thinking oh god what am I going to break today? What am I screwing up today? What am I going to get so wrong that I'm going to be deeply embarrassed today? And then realise that you're not even the worst one in your cabinet. It must be very hard for him to generate the motivation to get dressed, go into work and sit there and pretend to be leader. It's, it, it's not good, is it? It really isn't good. He's quite incapable. I think he's totally out of his depth. And I think, I think he'd be a much happier, less stressed person. If he just resigned now, call an election. Give the people of Scotland what they want. Hope, a future, freedom. Freedom from the incompetencies and criminality of the SNP. But most of all, freedom from a man who literally doesn't know what to do. Hey ho, I shall stop there. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. I will come back. I've got I've still got loads of videos to do today. It's a busy, busy day. Till next time, stay safe, stay well, and I will talk to you later. Bye.